Hello, I'm Russell with the Piano Outlet. Today I want to uh, do a little tutorial on how to work the brand new Piano Disc Prodigy. There's actually uh, two apps that are involved with the Piano Disc Prodigy. One is uh, the calibration app, which we're not going to go into today. And the other one is the end user app, which is you, the person who owns the piano, learn how to uh, operate the piano with the, uh, with the app, with the new Prodigy system. Now the main difference between the Prodigy system and the uh, system before, which is just a standard IQ, um, IQ system, is that the Prodigy system gets the data to the piano by Bluetooth, whereas before it was over Wi-Fi. So, now, when you uh, turn on your iPad, The first thing you're going to do is go into settings and look for Bluetooth. And you see Bluetooth is on and it's connected already. It automatically connects. Once you connect it to Bluetooth audio, it automatically will connect. So you really only have to do that one time. Uh, you know, if, if it does get disconnected, then you go into the, um, to the settings again and press Bluetooth and you'll find it. But it should say piano disc, silent drive, Bluetooth audio. That means it's connected right now. So I'm going to go back out. And now we're going to select, these are the two apps. This is the um, calibration app, which incidentally um, really should only be used by a uh, piano disc technician that knows how to use it because it, uh, it should not be on in the background while you're using the piano because it, it just it gives conflicting signals and the piano doesn't behave properly. It's one thing that we learned uh, in using this uh, system here. But um, if you uh, open up the... Um, the the uh, the player application you can click on uh, iPod library and then you see basically these are all the albums that that uh, you get when uh, when the piano comes to you and you'll see anything with artwork like this which is kind of kind of generic this is piano only so if we're going to click on this let's play uh, the first piano piece right now now these are the different um, controls you have this little speaker here is for uh, volume and when you click that you'll see that also this little square here always has to be connected to piano disc sil silent drive bluetooth audio it was already connected so that's why it already popped up that it's on there but if it's on ipad then you'll hear a noise coming out of the out of the speaker on the ipad and uh, that's uh, not supposed to be you're actually supposed to have it on this setting right here which we already have it and now i'm going to press play Now it's important to know that when you move this switch here, when you slide it back and forth, you move it a little bit, then wait for a reaction. It, because the piano doesn't is not going to respond instantaneous like a regular volume control. Alright, so let's stop this now. Now let's go into something with some background music on it. So we're going to go back to the iPod library and let's select, uh, oh we got Celine Dion here. This is a nice one. Let's try Beauty and the Beast. Also, with the background music, you also have this adjustment here. Now, generally speaking, when this when the piano comes to you, the piano is going to be a little heavy, so we put the accompaniment uh, over about this far because the piano is usually uh, a lot of times a little louder than the accompany is. So we just move the slider control. This uh, gives you the balance between the accompany and piano. So if I was to move it all the way this way, then you'd have just piano. All the way this way is uh, just your accompaniment. And then the other type of software you have on here is you're going to have, um, you're going to have videos. Let's uh, call up a video here. That's pretty cool. One that I like. This is a good one. Got Tony Bennett. One, two, one, two. A little loud. It's like smile on your smile or... Uh smile in the whole world, it's, it's just a sort of unabashedly positive sort of song. This guy's 
off those cars and you run. You got it. Put on a happy face. Take off that gloomy mask. Check out your hair. It's not your style. And uh, I'll tell you what, this piano is going to Antonio, Connecticut. Finally got the piano ready for him, and uh, mainly it, it took us a long time to learn how to use this uh, Prodigy system for me to get comfortable with it and to know exactly what to do and what not to do. But anyway, I'm going to play this a little bit more, and then the camera's going to do around, you know, a, a sweep around. Don't pay attention to the legs, because the legs are the last thing that we put on the piano. That's why we have one white leg and one dinged up leg, because uh, we can only clean and touch up the legs when they're on a workbench. So this is actually one of the legs that are going to go on your piano there, Antonio. So don't pay attention to these. Anyway, so we're going to play the song. The camera's going to walk around a little bit. Okay. Stick out that old I hope you enjoyed this little video. Uh, it's actually for Antonio. It's his piano, Yamaha C7, on its way to Connecticut tomorrow. So thank you very much for watching the video. If you want any further information, Russell at 954-803-3319, Piano Outlet. Thank you.